making plans for Nigel. This boy is electric. It's funny with Hyundai and Kia cars, you really get used to the 12 volt battery susceptibility. So yeah, our Kia Soul there uh, didn't work this morning. It was dead. We went out to the uh, car to put Cracker in, take him for a walk somewhere, and the car wouldn't open. So a uh, bit of a story to tell you about that. First thing is, well, it's, it's just not a problem. If you've got a Kia or a Hyundai electric car, then their software for the 12 volt battery, it's a little bit dodgy. And every now and then you'll find your car could be dead, which is why a 12 volt jumper pack is absolutely essential. Right, anyway, let's turn the camera around and see if we can have a chat about it. So yes, the car's dead, you go to it. Basically, I clicked the remote control and the rear boot wouldn't open uh, to get cracker in. Saying, oh no, what's going on? The battery's gone on my remote control. And uh, the more you look into it, you think, oh, it could be the car is dead. But I noticed the driver's door was open and the driver's door was open because I'd left the ignition key in the car. So yeah, this is a little bit of a story about how the car became dead because it, it appears to be because I left the key in the car completely overnight. Um, very, very naughty of me. Won't do that again. Naughty Nigel. But because the key is in the car, it's communicating. It's doing something. It's staying unlocked. You know, the car knows that the key's in there. So it's in some sort of stay alive mode. Now, for whatever reason, the car shut down. Now, I don't think it ran the 12 volt down and hence the car was dead because the 12 volt was dead. That's not the case. And I'll try and explain why. But to fix it, basically all you need is a jump starter to basically bypass the electronics, boost the car and uh, hey presto, the car comes on. So I put a booster pack on, put the black and red cables on and uh, then went round and started the car. And it started OK and went into ready to drive mode. So there's nothing wrong with the car. It just needed that boost to get past being locked out. But the interesting and curious thing is in Home Assistant, which looks at the Kia app servers to see what data is, the battery percentage had been 91 percent before. So the 12 volt was very, very well charged. And now it shows as unavailable. So there's obviously something wrong that it can't check the 12 volt battery status. So all the other things are now adjusting. Range is adjusting battery percent of the high voltage battery. That's all adjusting. But the 12 volt is still showing as unavailable. So something around the 12 volt has happened and the data going to the Kia servers isn't being updated and hence Home Assistant and its integration can't get that data. But what else I noticed was that uh, we have a little uh, USB socket that goes into the 12 volt cigarette lighter in the car and that was showing 13.2 volts. So we like that because that tells us what the voltage of the car is. Now, if the 12 volt needed charging when we turned the car on, it would be showing 14, 14.2 14 volts, something like that. So you can see some positive energy going into the 12 volt battery, but it's not. So the car doesn't think the 12 volt needs charging because it's not charging and the voltage of the battery 13.2 volts is absolutely fine so the 12 volt is fine it is charged there isn't any issue so it seems and the car isn't trying to charge the battery at all so we don't have a, a flat 12 volt battery that's caused the car to go dead it's just somehow got locked out somehow it's got itself into a position where it's dead and won't restart um, so it's not responding to the keys. So it's shut down in some way. And basically the car needs a reboot. And the way of rebooting it is to bung a jump starter on and <laughs> force that power into the car. So the uh, car will come alive and be ready to drive, etc. And then it's reset. So it's a very odd scenario that these Kia and Hyundai cars are renowned for having dead 12 volts. Probably most of them, they're not dead. We had it with our Kona Electric. One day we were at a dog show, left the car in a field. I might have left the hatch open. I might have left the key in it. I might have done something, leaving it many, many hours in a situation where it wasn't locked. Um, and I think this is the key. If the car stays on for too long and it's not locked as you go away and it's on for hours and hours and hours, sometimes, sometimes it does this weird thing where it shuts down and becomes dead and you can't start it with the key. 
and that's when you call the AA out and they come along and all they do is put a booster pack on and uh, boost the car and hey presto you're ready to go again. Now that happened to us with the Kona um, and on that occasion we had to call the AA. We've obviously learned our lesson and now got a 12 volt booster pack and yeah it's it's almost now that it's not a problem you just know every now and then it's going to happen and it's like having a tv that needs rebooting or your media player on the car isn't doing what it's supposed to the screen's gone blank and you have to reboot it so it just needs a reboot and you need that 12 volt jumper pack to be able to do it so if you haven't got one and you've got a kia or hyundai electric car you really need to get yourself a booster pack because it's gonna happen uh, i'm afraid their software has some fault in it somewhere where an instance of something unusual happens over a long period of time and the car shuts down and locks you out of it not physically locking the doors but locks you out as in you can't start the car so if you've got aa recovery that's absolutely fine um apart from obviously having to wait for them you know you might have to wait half an hour an hour for someone to come along to do that but having a booster pack Five minutes later, the car's absolutely fine and off going again. We've been out for a drive in the car. I've charged the car a little. And again, I've noticed the voltage still shows 13.2. It hasn't at any time attempted to charge the battery. It hasn't gone to 14 volts. So I, I really do think that the battery is fine. The car was just locked out and needed a reboot for some reason. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, it's it's interesting to see these things happen and what do you do to get around it. Um and you might panic a little bit to start with, um, thinking, oh, God, God, the car's dead. But you've just got to get used to the idea that these cars need um, a reboot. Plugging the booster pack on was very odd that uh, once it was connected to the two terminals, you could hear it going click, 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 click. And the car actually came alive. But that clicking went on for ages and ages and ages. So it's probably one of those things where once it started clicking, I probably needed to take it off straight away anyway. So I don't... I, I don't know precisely how long you're supposed to leave these things on for. It's not as if it's charging the battery. So my guess is as soon as you hear the clicking, you can take the uh, charger or the booster pack off the battery terminals and uh, then off you go, basically, and have the car turned on. So very interesting. I'm not concerned about the health of our 12 volt battery, but I will be happier once I can see the percentage of the 12 volt battery coming through from the data on home assistant it's a bit of a pain that with the kia app it just shows is the 12 volt okay or is it not okay um, but if you do the inquiries via the server directly with something like home assistant you can actually see the percentage of the battery how charged the 12 volt battery is it's just a shame we don't get that data on the app Anyway, just thought I'd share that scenario with you. Uh, obviously, I can't film it while I'm doing it and I've experienced it because I'm uh, faffing around trying to get it going too much. But I thought I'd share it and try and help somebody else that if you have your car go dead, it's a Kia Hyundai. Don't be too worried about it. It might not be that the 12 volt is actually dead. It just needs that boost to get going uh, again. But what it, what is useful is something to check what the voltage is of the battery. So one of those little cigarette lighter USB adapters that tell you what the voltage is are actually really, really handy because you can tell if it was now saying 11.5 volts, I would know there's a problem with the battery. Um, if it was saying 14, I, I would know it was charging. The fact that it says 13, it's good health. It's not charging. Everything's fine. Thanks for watching. Hope this was an interesting video to anyone that has a Kia, Hyundai or uh, other electric car stories about 12 volts going dead or not, they just need a reboot. Take care, see you again soon, more videos. Bye for now.